our, our uh, health as well. This is really, really dense air that's affecting a lot of people in West Michigan. Just notice less than a mile visibility here in Montcalm County, and that's uh, pretty much the trend across a lot of communities. Lakeshore areas have it a little better between a mile and about two miles of visibility from Holland to St. Joseph. You can see there on the horizon, we're still dealing with a lot of that wildfire smoke. We'll take you to downtown Grand Rapids right now as well, where you can barely see the highway uh, just about a half mile to a mile out. So very, very dense smoke. We are registering one mile of visibility here in Grand Rapids. Winds are fairly light right now, but going to get breezy in some communities, and it's very, very humid as well. Dew points still in the 60s as temperatures are in the 60s as well, and we'll continue to see uh, maybe a little mix of fog in with that as well. So air quality alert for all of the lower peninsula here today. It is very, very dense. We are a part of the worst air quality in the country right now and expecting that to last through most of the afternoon. Here's a look at those visibilities. Mile and a quarter Grand Rapids, mile and a quarter Kalamazoo, mile and a half Three Rivers, mile and a half in Benton Harbor. So widespread, no matter where you head, we are going to continue to see low visibility here across the state due to that wildfire smoke. And here's a look at the future cast for the smoke. Most dense smoke will be around right through the afternoon and evening hours. So really discouraging getting outside for long periods of time here across West Michigan as that smoke really doesn't improve until late tonight and through the day on Wednesday. Live radar right now, this does not pick up on any of the wildfire haze, but you do see a cloud deck getting closer and closer to 131, and that should clear out. We'll look at filtered sunshine this afternoon. Rain well off to our east, barely any in the thumb, and things are starting to improve on the uh, rain front as well. We're at 68 in Holland, 69 in Muskegon. That's where the sunshine is peeking through, but again, we're going to see temperatures hindered because of the wildfires. 62 in Grand Rapids, 62 in Battle Creek, 61 in Coldwater. Our dew points, upper 50s, lower 60s, so fair, fairly close uh, to our temperatures. That's even maybe adding to some of that visibility issues with some light fog around. Winds across the state, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. We do have some gusts north at about 20 miles per hour as well, uh, but things are starting to uh, pick up here this afternoon in wave heights along the lakeshore, gusting uh, upwards of 30 miles per hour this afternoon, so rip current risk is in effect with wave heights peaking. Uh, maybe 7 to 8 feet. We did have some areas register over 7 feet early this morning, and with that water, it's mixed a ton, so water temperatures have come back down significantly. Here's a look at the future track for those winds as we go through this afternoon from Holland down to Three Rivers off to the south and west. That's where we're anticipating the strongest winds this afternoon. But areas inland will still see some gusts upwards of about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And with the wildfire haze mixing in, again, just not a great day to be outside. But unfortunately, a uh, tough day today, cooler air. Things do improve Wednesday into Thursday. Wildfire smoke will still be around these days, but especially once we get into Thursday and Friday, tracking some rain chances. If we are to see any rain across the area, uh, conditions should start to improve. Uh, here across the area. Temperatures staying mild through Thursday. If we don't see any rain, some communities may push near 90, but then as we head in towards the 4th of July weekend and into 4th of July next Tuesday, things are trending drier and warmer as well.